so sometimes I would even ask if somebody says like, no, I'm not interested. And there's, there's no pitch, nothing. Do, haven't even explained what, uh, what we're doing. Then I asked them, what are you not interested in? Um, which is a very confronting question. And it's, it, I'm just not interested in a sales conversation. And then I tell them, okay, then let's not have a sales conversation. Let's have a conversation about the process that processes that you have in the company and what you are annoyed about. Like, what would you see differently? And then you just go back into that conversation and you tell them like, I'm not going to do a sales pitch. We can hang up the phone uh, after, let's say, 40 minutes of talking about your processes. I'm not going to tell you what we do at all. I don't mind not pitching. Automatically, the other side, there's a high, very high chance that they're saying, why would you not pitch? Or they can also say, of course, like, I, I don't want to have that conversation. I will go deeper. Like, why do you not want to have that conversation? Isn't it important for you to actually uh, uh, improve your job, for example? But I can also imagine you would like to talk about what doesn't go well and, and you want to see what the options are. Um, because in the end, every prospect that you speak to has an intrinsic motivation to be good at their own job. And 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 this this comes down to that that psychology behind it. Like who are you talking to? You're talking to a professional, especially when it's B2B, that loves their job most likely, or at least the field that they're in. And they want to hear that they're doing a very good job. Um, so why not let them talk about it? And 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 if you ask those upfront questions at one point, like what are you not interested in? Tell me what you would do differently before we hang up the phone then you can notice that they're like okay but this is like a lot of um uh, uh talking yourself up and making sure that you can you can say how good you are which compels them to go into the conversation then another one that i i really like is when somebody says like no i don't have, don't have any time uh, right now I, i'll just ask them okay when do you have more time and they go like, well, no, I, I don't want to have a sales conversation. And then I just asked them a random question. And I go like, all right, no problem. I'll hang up the phone. Just one more question before we hang up. I'm very interested in this. And then I still asked them a question. I ignore the fact that they said no. And I try to pull them into the conversation again. And it can be, for example, if we combine it to Moss, what we do here, um, I'll, t I'll ask them just to be 100% sure, um, how do you... Uh, handle your receipts normally um, because then I can put that fee feedback back, back to our uh, product managers and our engineers. And then they are very often still compelled to answer that question. Why? Because again, they want to talk about how good they do their job. And they're 100% convinced we do not have a better program than what they already bought or what they already built themselves. So you, they, you still get them to, to, to have a conversation about how good they are which puts you back into the conversation.